Lutando Sioni was said to be the key witness and whose evidence the state would rely heavily on. The state claims that Christopher Paniotu planned and orchestrated the murder of his wife. Sioni was employed by Paniotu as a bouncer at his Infinity Night Club. In the police statement, Sioni gives evidence of how he helped Paniotu to find a hitman. That hitman was said to be co-accused Sizwe Zake Vumasonke, who fell ill in St. Albans prison. He died a few months ago in hospital. Speculation is he died of alleged poisoning. The state is waiting a toxicology report. After being in protective custody for more than a year, Sioni is making a dramatic U-turn. During questioning by the state earlier in the week, Sioni refrained from answering any questions. He told the court he would not implicate himself in the crime. When the defense cross-examined him, he insisted that the police beat him up upon his arrest. He said he was tortured and forced to sign a confession that implicates Christopher Paniotu. He says he was also forced to make several calls to Paniotu on the day of Jade's funeral to try and entrap him. The defense claims Sioni's statements were taken from him unlawfully and therefore is inadmissible. Sioni requested that the state advocate Maria Stander provide photographs of his beaten face to the court. The state says Sioni has deviated from his statements and has been declared a hostile witness. The other two co-accused Zolani Sibeko and Sinatemba Nenembe were both in court. Both families have also been present throughout the trial. Jade Lee Paulser, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.